You know, there's a lot of barriers to progress in the game, but you would not think bison butts are one of them. But you'd be wrong. Oh, hi. Welcome to another edition of Me Mojo in Gang Z Eco. And today we are going to rush over to Vortex's house. And he said that he would just give me the ingots. I didn't even have to give him the ore. He said he's such a gentleman. But I did. Uh, and we're gonna get him out of his bloomeries. Supposedly they're in the public space in there and we can just grab them. Um, probably about four at a time, I guess. And then we'll take them to the chest. If you remember last time we were putting together a chest of items to research casting with and we were gonna rely on Biffa to do that research. Uh, that still has not happened just yet, um, but soon. Very soon. Okay, so I know my axe weighs something, and I don't think these claim flags weigh anything, but just out of paranoia. I think if we are holding absolutely nothing, we can get five ingots at a time going, and we can, so we only have to make three trips. Let's get it over with. And while we're over there, I guess we can see whether or not Doll got around to um, putting those bricks in the chests for me. Definitely okay if you did or didn't. It actually hasn't been that long when you think about how many hours have passed since I requested them, so I can't even be mad. There's a big bison butt in the way. Move your butt. I literally can't get in. What is this? Could you please move your... Oh my god. Now I'm just gonna have to be stuck by the other cheek. Are you serious? What is this? Are you Ty Design's pet or something? Anyway, here's our first shipment of ingots. You know, there's a lot of barriers to progress in the game, but you would not think bison butts are one of them. But you'd be wrong. Alright, second shipment just delivered. The bison was a little more acquiescing this time. This is still here. Future site of the Mayor's Banner building in progress by Circas Building Inc. Folks, Never hire Circas Building Inc. unless you don't want it to be finished before the meteor's finished. That's gonna come and go before that building's up. Mark my words. I'm just teasing, I love Circas. All right, here we go. All the ingots. Finally. All right, so now we're just waiting on bricks. I suppose Doll probably hasn't been online yet. I could go check his store to see if he shoved some bricks in it, but I don't. I haven't seen him around much today. I think he is a busy man. So that'll probably happen tomorrow. And then we set. We can be engineers after that, guys. It's going to be pretty sweet. Well, by being engineers, I mean we can start learning how to become an engineer, basically. Because if you saw yesterday's video, I was showing you kind of how I need to research industry first. In order to research industry, I need to research the smithing thing, I think it was. Specifically, casting. Was it smithing? It all runs together in my mind. Anything that's not woodwork is... It's like mystery to me. I don't know. Hocus Pocus. Oh, before I forget, I should pop in here again and grab my axe and my claim flags. And I guess it'd be nice of me to close the door behind myself. Alright, looks like if I want to eat tomorrow, uh, the only thing gonna be able to sell in this store is huckleberries so I guess I'm gonna go on a huckleberry hunt cuz I really am enjoying this uh, sausage uh, huckleberry extract and wild mix combination you can get well over 300 skill points a day with all that in your belly and I know that there are some huckleberries that tend to spawn back behind all these buildings if you just keep going straight back there's like a whole little forest of huckleberries so getting a good number of those that should happen pretty quick and then we'll be fed tomorrow before Jenny changes his mind and stops taking things I can make don't do it to me Jenny okay all these little bushes here are where huckleberries would spawn and even though you can't see the berries on them sometimes I guess you can still pick them because I'm getting some so cool. And I'm getting seeds as I go, and the picture of the seeds and the berries is the same, so I'm not sure if I'm getting a lot of berries or a lot of seeds. 
let's just keep going because as you can see there's a ton to go around I could really stock up and that would definitely not be a bad thing okay I think we have something like hundred seventy three huckleberries now so um let's just try to get two of everything I mentioned how much would that be so we would need to give up can we just type it in I think 80 huckleberries trade and then there they are we're gonna be well fed tomorrow thanks Jenny Bortek isn't quite done with all of his work down here in his mine and he said he needed some more ramps and a couple more paths so I'm gonna harvest some stone for him and make those before I take a break all right let's throw these in and start getting to work on some ramps and then we'll take a little break and when we come back we will see if Biffa is able to help us with our casting research and I'll have to come up with a cool helpful thing to do for him as a reward I don't want to just give him raw materials and be like thanks for the help maybe we can make some more furniture for his bunker or some um, you know like work tables or something I'll have to come up with something okay so I managed to make five ramps for Vortex. I don't think that's enough probably, but beggars can't be choosers, Vortex. So I'm gonna go to his house and deliver that to him. And I heard a rumor that the blast furnace uh, is finally finished and supposedly in the back here. Ooh, look at this bad boy. It's big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I wonder if I just leave the ramps in the public storage back here next to the blast furnace if he'll find them. It's closer to his mine. So how does this work? So status storage, power. Okay, so it's like coal fueled. I bet you could put logs or something in there too. Uh, what are you making here though? Steel mostly. Yeah, a bunch of steel stuff. It's steel roofs. Jeez. Man, that's going to be noisy if it starts hailing. Rivets. Okay, cool. Oh, you can reverse engineer ingots back into ores? Or do you make... No, I think you make ingots out of ores, but if you put... I don't know. I'm so confused and I'm letting myself get all confused. But it seems like there's a lot of steel involved here, so if I, in fact, do get a foothold on engineering, this should be very valuable to me. Thank you, Vortec. Look at this. Is that on its side? Is it finally on its side? Can I chop it? Where's my axe? Okay. Gotta chop this baby down. Get it! No! I hate this thing so much! Ugh! Okay. You gotta go. You gotta go. Just let me pick it up! I don't understand! I'm gonna have to learn to ignore that thing or cover it up with something. I don't know. I I used to be merely annoyed by it and now I'm like through the roof. I just, when I see that thing, I just feel such like unbridled rage. It's not healthy, guys. It's not healthy. Let's see if I can comfort myself with some food. What do I have in my belly? Mostly just wild mix. So why don't I just pop a sausage and some huckleberry extract if it'll fit. I'm feeling a lot better already. So it seems like Vortec is claiming that he purchased this gorgeous lumber roof out of my store and purchased it with stone that I can use to make more paths for him. How convenient. But nonetheless, I will accept his stone as payment and reinvest it in his mine. All right, we're making him some more stuff with the stone from my store that he generously logged in and gave to me. It's a... Uh, kind of difficult to be unable to access your own store, but fortunately slash unfortunately my store doesn't get a lot of traction so it's not like that big of a burden for us to deal with it as things come up. So as you know, we I mentioned we got the blast furnace going. Let me just go back across town here and try to show you guys something interesting. And we've only had it live on the server a couple hours in the grand scheme of things, but it's already been some uh, interesting adjustments to the environment. Okay, so this is where all the pollution pours out. And look at this. Do you see how the ground looks kind of, uh, ooh, 
non-existent, <laughs> kind of uh, sick and dry. It's like, look over here. It's still like pretty, like a nice, rich brown. And over here, it's kind of um, like wrinkled up and uh, dried out looking. Do you see that? Do you see the difference? And the grass on top just isn't quite as green. It's kind of yellowy versus, you know, over here, we got some nice vibrant greens. So, uh, okay, here's the... Here's the quandary about eco. You have to do these things. You need steel in order to save the planet and you have to pollute in order to make steel. So what do you do? You know, like you have to do everything in moderation. You have to do some destruction, but you have to do selective destruction. Like, how do you know when enough is enough, though? You know, that's the question. So I just came up here to see if uh, maybe someone got a chance to work on the casting skill book. I don't think that's the case because my materials are still in the box to the left here. Uh, but what is kind of cool is that in 10 and a half hours, we'll have a refining skill book courtesy of Generic B. So we are making some progress. That is great to see. So for now, that'll do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time on another pollution mitigating <laughs> episode of me, Mojo, and Gangzi in Eco. See you then.